This week I thought I would come to you from our gymnasium. Um, we have an awesome gym. We actually have two. I'll show you the other one in just a second. But last year we were able to get the floors redone. Our gym is able to be divided into two different sections so we can split up our classes. Um, it just really is well done in here and it is a great place for our students to learn. Um, we often use our stage even as another PE teaching location. In addition to our upper gym, we have another lower gym. Um, as you can see, it's able to hold two full-size volleyball courts, so it's a great space for our students to, to learn as well. And as we come in here, we have an awesome fitness room. There's plenty of exercise equipment for our students to utilize. This is oftentimes supported by the our parent organization. With their donations, we've been able to purchase new equipment and make sure that all this equipment is safe um, for our students to use. It is awesome and we are fortunate to have this space. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our physical education space. I just want to continue to highlight the wonderful things that we have here at Crestview so our students are ready to utilize them when we get them back in the building, hopefully sometime real soon. Um, related to physical fitness, our virtual cross-country meet that was going to be held real soon has been postponed. Um, we're not going to hold it at this time, so if you're planning to participate in that, um, you're still able to get out there and run, but it's just not going to be part of this. Some important things that are happening next week. So next Wednesday is the end of our first grading unit. So that is the equivalent of what would have traditionally have been our first quarter. So it's important for you and your students to check on their grades, look at infin infinite campus, and check on the progress of your students in each of their four classes. Um, the other thing that's happening next week for our sixth graders who are not in band, orchestra, or choir, you're going to transition to a new elective. So that information will be available on Infinite Campus. And on Tuesday, they should see a new tile in Canvas for them to go on and find out um, the information about their new teacher and to be able to find the new Zoom links for that class. Um, other things that's happening right now is our conferences are coming up. So we typically do conferences in the fall and the spring, but with our new schedule, we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna have one during the first quarter and one in the second quarter. So our first day is gonna be October the 6th and our second day is going to be November the 12th. You'll receive an email next week that details the information about how you can sign up um, using our pick a time system. So look for that in next Thursday's weekly update. Um, besides conferences, there's another way to make sure our students are staying up to date and being able to get the help that they need from their teachers. And that is through their office hours. So every day teachers are available from two to 2.30 and on Tuesday through Friday, they're available from 8.15 to nine o'clock. That is a great opportunity for students to be able to ask questions, get help with homework, um, other support that they may need. All they have to do is log into their Zoom and the teacher will be there waiting to help. So please make sure your students are taking advantage of those times, especially if their grades are not where you would like them to be. Some other things that are happening, we are hosting our virtual book fair. You can find that information on our library page on the Crestview's website. Um, our Got Your Backpack program is something that typically we hold within Crestview and support our families that might need some additional help with some meals. Um, our CPO usually operates that, but during our um, at-home time, we're doing a conjunction with the district-wide Got Your Backpack program. But we could still use donations, and there's a list of things that um, you can donate within our email. And you can either take those directly to the donation site, or you can drop them here off at Crestview, and we'll be happy to get them to the proper location. Our CPO is also sponsoring our principal's coffee, which will take place on 923. It's gonna run from 930 to 11. It's gonna operate through Zoom and the Zoom link is in the email as well. We have three different things that we're gonna highlight during that time. We're gonna have an instructional technology person there that's gonna help you learn how to navigate through Canvas from the parent lens. Our counselors are gonna be there to provide you with some information about how you can help your students cope during this time. And we're gonna have our leader of our community partnerships in prevention, which is our new name for our drug-free coalition. So all three of those um, presentations will take place during that time. Again, that's next Wednesday from 9.30 to 11, and the Zoom link is in the email. Our counselors are also going to highlight um, coping mechanisms for our students during the lesson on Monday morning during Mindfulness Monday. So um, remind your students to participate in those mindfulness activities on Monday. Finally, I wanna give a shout out to one of our students. Seven Gold held some Seven Gold Olympics this week and 
had a great team activity for their students to participate in. Um, and they um, did that all via Zoom and students had various activities and just wanted to highlight our Plank winners. So great job, Nora. Thanks again for watching a weekly update. Um, hope to see many of you at our Principal's Coffee next week. And again, if you ever have any questions or you need anything, feel free to reach out at jansengary at rsdmo.org.